Hello guys and welcome back to Queen Vitsada. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful and delicious strawberry jello poke cake. This cake is so easy to make, so go ahead and make it. First we have to make a simple vanilla cake which starts with mixing egg and sugar into a bowl and beat it until it's fluffy and lighter in color. Then in another bowl add all of your dry ingredients which is flour, baking powder and salt. Then gradually add your flour mixture into your wet mixture and fold it in or whisk it. And while mixing it, add your oil and milk intervally so that the wet ingredient and the dry ingredients will combine and make a homogeneous mixture. Make sure that you are not using an electric hand mixer in this stage because otherwise it will make your cake so hard and stiff and want a nice fluffy cake. After you have added all of the flour and the other wet ingredients, Pour your cake batter into your prepared baking dish. I am using a Pyrex, you can use other pans that you like to. Then start making your jello according to the instructions. As you can see, I am using strawberry jello and adding hot water and cold water and mixing until it's fully dissolved. Then, while your cake is hot, using a fork, poke some holes in it so that the jello will go and sift through those holes. Then using a ladle or spoon or anything that you have in hand, slowly and gradually drizzle the jello which is hot and the cake is hot on top of the cake and let the cake absorb the jello slowly. This is so important, we don't want to soak the cake, we just want the cake and the holes in it to absorb the jello so when we cut it and it's cold we have a nice pattern of the inserted jello into the cake after we have drizzled all of the jello in the cake just let it cool into the fridge until the jello has stiffened up then after about couple of hours I am adding some whipped cream you can use cool whip or ready whipped cream or anything that you like your favorite frosting on top just to cover up the holes that you make you don't want that look you can make a really nice easy sheet pancake with this method then I'm adding some swirls using the back of the spoon just to decorate it a little bit and adding some edible pearls at the end this is a really really easy cake you can make it in a big dish in your baking pan or in any type of sheet pan that you like just make sure that it is in a sheet pan because we can't take this cake out of the pan and we have to serve it as it is here it is it's so quick and easy just let it chill a little bit in the fridge after a day in the fridge this cake tastes even better it's so beautiful, it's so easy. I hope you have enjoyed making it. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe and put a comment down below. And please tell me what other recipes would you like me to make. Thank you so much for watching.